Hey what's up you guys, this is SGB618 here and today I'm going to be talking to you guys about my top 5 favourite improved slash newcomers in Super Smash Bros Ultimate. Now as we all know Super Smash Bros Ultimate came out last week Friday and I've been very much enjoying it as you saw on my live stream last week Saturday. Um, but on that live stream there was a lot of people who didn't know the changes made to some fighters. And one of those reasons is because they don't either have a switch or they don't have the game which is obviously understandable so this video is basically showcasing some improvements and how some of the new characters play as well and i'm going to showcase some of my favorites because why not um smash bros ultimate is a very popular game right now might as well be positive and be happy that these characters have been improved and some of these newcomers are great as well but before this video starts please make sure that you smash the like button and subscribe for some more content and ring the bell to get notified of my upcoming videos comment down below what characters you guys are most excited for and comment down below if you guys have changed your mind on maimed characters so have you stopped playing as mario and started playing as king k rule or did you stop playing as peach and started using incineroar I don't know, it's up to you, let me know in the comments down below, and I'll definitely try to reply to you guys. But without further ado, let's go straight into it. So at number 5, we have Pichu. Yes, I know that Pichu can hurt itself with its own electricity, which is pretty dumb to begin with, but I was honestly shocked to see just how much Pichu has been buffed between this game and in Melee. And obviously he got cut from Brawl and Smash 4. Um, Pichu's side smash is honestly one of the best in the game. And Pichu is actually very fast as well. I think he's one of the fastest characters in the game as well I believe. Which is obviously very good. Um, I may get hate for saying this. But Pichu is just a better faster version of Pikachu in my opinion. I even think that Pichu's attacks are more powerful. But... The whole punishment for using those attacks is hurting yourself, so it's sort of balanced out, if you see what I mean. But, me saying that, it might might be just because Peachy is easier to use, I'm not really sure. Still a very fun character to play as anyway. So at number 4, we have Ken. Ken actually feels different to Ryu, and for me anyway, he feels like a different fighter rather than an Echo. His Shoyuken does so much unnecessary damage. Well, you can kind of see through the animations. One is super fiery and the other one is just a physical, normal punch. Um, but it's so fun to pull off and it's really satisfying. He's a lot faster than Ryu as well. And has slightly different animations to Ryu as I mentioned earlier. His two final smashes... I mean, do I even need to say anything? Like, if you haven't seen it on screen already, then I don't really know. But it's so overpowered. I think it's one of my favourite Final Smashes in the game. Like, literally both of them. They look so cool. And I don't, I'm, I don't think you guys understand how satisfying those moves are to pull off. Especially when you're right next to the opponent. That Final Smash is absolutely sick. But because of that, that's why Ken gets number 4 on this list. Very, very fun character to use. So at number 3, we have Inkling. I was very excited for Inkling from the beginning, and I'm not even surprised that they're really fun to use. I thought that using the ink and filling it up would be really complex for me, especially how I'm a big casual at Smash Bros. And if you haven't noticed already, I suck at this game. <laughs> but I got used to it pretty quickly. Uh, Inkling is very fast and even though their moves are hard hitting anyway, I love how you can do extra damage by spraying ink at your opponent and that increases the damage of the move that you just did. It's really cool and tactical and I really do like that and I do think that the ink meter thing really helps you to yeah dish out hard hitting attacks but also balance out and to make sure that the game doesn't punish you for doing too many hard hitting attacks without reloading sort of how um pichu has super powerful electricity attacks but you end up hurting yourself over time 
but it does cause more chaos in matches which is obviously more fun. So at number 2 we have Incineroar. Incineroar and Ken were the two characters I really wanted for Smash Ultimate and I was so excited to find out that they were coming. Incineroar is an absolute monster in this game. It's so easy to get caught in his grab moves which does so much damage and don't even get me started on his darkest lariat move. If you thought it was OP in Sun and Moon and Ultra Sun and Moon, use it in this. Your opponent won't even have a chance to attack or even get back on stage because they're about to get slapped up by Incineroar. It may be a really simple animation but that move is overpowered. His final smash is so awesome as well and very satisfying to pull off, much like the previous characters I talked about, easily one of the best in the game as well. I just love how my favourite Pokemon plays in Super Smash Bros Ultimate and that's why he's on this list. And finally at number 1 we have Wolf. I said this in my unboxing for Super Smash Bros Ultimate, but Wolf is one of my favourite Nintendo characters and definitely my favourite Nintendo villain. And obviously because of that I was really over the moon to see him return in Super Smash Bros Ultimate. And I couldn't wait to play as him because he plays great in Brawl. So I was hoping that they kept his moveset because if it was already great, you wouldn't really need to change anything, right? Wolf's new moveset is mental. He's even faster now and he has more range which is obviously dangerous now. His final smash is buffed like Fox and Falco. And one other thing, I love how Wolf's new design is based off Star Fox Zero I believe. It looks really great as well, especially compared to Brawls which looked slightly weird. I think Wolf gets the top spot on the list because what Nintendo did to Wolf in this game is literally in the title of the video. And let me see if I can try and explain it. Wolf is literally an improved fighter but his improvements make him feel like a brand new character. And obviously because of that he gets the top spot on the list because Nintendo fused both of them together. And now um, Wolf is like a new experience playing as him. If, if I even worded that correctly but whatever. Wolf gets the top spot on the list. Very well designed, very fun to play as. I'm not very good at playing as him as you can see on screen. But um, yeah. But anyway guys, that's going to be the end of today's video, so hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure that you smash the like button and subscribe for some more content, and ring the bell to get notified about upcoming videos. Like I said before, comment down below what characters you like to main in this game, if you changed your mind, and why you changed your mind maybe. Um, please make sure that you check out my live streams. I live stream at 6 o'clock UK time, PM, every single Saturday. Um, so make sure that you stay tuned for that as well. That would be very very cool. It's always open to the audience We're always playing games online So make sure that you add me on Nintendo switch so you can be able to play online with us and um, Yeah, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video Worse.